far as actually learning anything, at the end of the day, in our room, six weeks, one move. Six weeks. So if we were working on a position, probably six weeks before we go on. This, this summer, a freshman came in uh, college. Big, huge transition from bottom wrestling from high school to college. It's a huge struggle for guys, uh, for guys that have done it. We spent six weeks just on bottom. It's boring. But I can tell you this, they'll appreciate it as time goes on because uh, someone that's really good on top, and you can get away, and you don't have to worry about bottom. So we spent six weeks, and that's why maybe we're not going to run through a thousand moves. I'd rather you master one thing than sit here and learn, you know, while you're here. You're going to get a lot thrown at you. Uh, so as we break these little things down, details, this, this cover in the head is probably the hardest, most critical thing to understand. There's a lot going on, and if you can't manipulate the body, then the cradle will never work in this position. I'm controlling where, what he does, all right? So as I chop and I attack the head here, my elbow is staying low, but I'm also scooping it and pulling it up as this knee drops, if that makes sense to you. All right, I keep pulling this in tight. I'm making his body bend this way where he doesn't want to. All right, and I see some of you guys do this, and it's hard to like understand the concept to get this knee to come up. If his knee never comes up, you know, I could be pulling here all day long, and if his knee never comes up, I'm not gonna get a cradle. All right, if I scoop this near side, which there's not a bad ride, and there's nothing wrong with it at all, it's totally, it's a good ride, and our guys do it too, but I, I'm not gonna be able to get a near side cradle off the scoop unless he falls to the mat flat, and I get it. You know, that's a different concept. All right, so there's, I see guys trying different things, and they'll all work. Um, this is a little, little different, setting it up. So I chop, I attack the head, right? As I attack the head, I come up high. I scoop elbow down here, and I start pulling it up to me. You can tell you that's tight. I want to pretend like I'm falling, all right? So I keep everything pulling down. He, he can feel the pressure, and all I'm gonna do is release this tight waist because I know he's not going anywhere, and I'll come underneath and get my lock, all right? Guys panic. A couple things we can turn and roll through. We got stuff for that. Let's just say this guy panics, he goes flat. He's got good defense, he's flexible, okay? And I scooped here, all right? I'm gonna do a walk around cradle. Guys aren't gonna let me just, I don't know anybody in a, in a big match that's gonna let you clear this. They're gonna toe hook you, you're not gonna be able to get it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna lock my legs around, all right? I just lock my legs around his leg. I'm gonna, if you notice where I'm at, see where I'm at? I started here. We go to the mat. So if I'm here in this position and I'm trying to walk around him, he's blocking me off. You know, these guys, he keeps, yeah, he won't let me over. All right, go back down. Here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to step over and I'm going to scoop this here. This is a good finish. No matter how you get to a cradle, this is a good finish to have. Here, I'm going to scoop, block, knee down, shift my hips right over. Here. Now I'm going to clear this. High leg, out. Post it up, take a big step readjust and I'm pulling this tight to me. Right here. That's tight. Alright. Off the curve. Watch the finish when we're trying to come back up over here. So you're gonna be uh, beat up by the end of the day. Alright, I get the cradle locked up. Go ahead, go flat. I get this cradle locked up here. And this is what I'm talking about right now. This guy starts to wrestle me. He's not gonna let me just give me yes. He's hooked me here. I'm gonna clear this. So I'm gonna clear it. Scoop. I'm fishing for it, wherever I'm at. I know where it's at, now I can pinch it. Here, now I'm gonna clear my hips. I basically lock my feet, pull it to me, and I'll clear my hips. And when she'll wipe it through, I can't hook anything right now. I'm controlling the position again. I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna elevate, get behind it. Here, elbow comes to me tight, and I walk into him. And he can tell you this is really tight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to put my weight on because I probably put him to sleep. Put him in the match and I'm going to pin him. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So I get the lock. I came over the top. His knee came up and I got my lock here. Right? Guy goes flat to the mat. Boom. I'm trying to do a walk around the cradle. This is where I want to get. But he's stubborn. He's toe hooking me. He's doing everything. Yes. Give me that. That's fine. I'm going to take that. Here. I'm going to turn my hips and start controlling the position. Yes. And then I'm going to turn right here. See this where this is? Now I can switch my hips on. Here. He's worried what I'm doing over here, and I'm attacking. I don't want to clear this. Look what I did with my shoulder. I let that slide out. I was over top of it here, but I let that slide, and then 
I told that to I'm going to go right over the top. That fall. Alright? Just making that leg critical. Let's go. Ready? One, two.